How do you stop hazing in college? A group of parents say they have experienced the worst of it. They've lost a child. Our Amy Wood and Nicole Ford are at 7 on Main right now with more on these parents demanding change. You know, we have talked about Tucker Hips and his death during the frat run at Clemson University, and it's his parents who are leading this charge, as you discovered today. I've watched Cindy Hips sharing update after update, death after death, all over the country. And she and her husband, Gary, have talked to these families, but this weekend, they're actually finally getting to see these folks and meet them and talk about this face to face. Yeah, she organized it. It's happening right here in Greenville. These families have gathered to try and figure out what it's going to take to stop all this hazing on our college campuses. November 3rd, he was murdered. He had been on campus one month. West Virginia University trying to uh, join the Beta Theta Pi fraternity. August 24th, 2014. And he went to the room for the hotel and jumped to his death. This is okay to die, Ballard. Our <laughs> uh, son David attended Northern Illinois University. He was killed after 70 days there during an alcohol fueled hazing for a Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity. The dates, states, and places may be different, but the outcome is all the same. The most devastating thing that's ever happened in my life that will ever happen in my life, and Gary's too. Sober when he went to this other house about nine o'clock or a little after nine o'clock and within a matter of an hour and a half later he was he was, he was on his way to to dying passing away a boy wanting to fit in we weren't really overly concerned about it yeah, we just thought it was another club another yeah. like another team he was always involved team. and his life ending in an instant the hazing what he was going through what he'd gone through how much alcohol he was drinking the drugs he had to drink uh they had them do like a fight club where the pledges had to beat each other up he died that week these parents now part of a club nobody wants to be a member of people on this wall but life would not go down in vain all of these parents will tell you there's one thing in common that they will tell you is they would prefer that this not happen again to another family but hoping that by being in this tragic club they can make a change. That is over. Things are going to change. Our kids are not going to die. I'd like to see the national fraternities and the universities abolish hazing. There's no place for it. Yeah. Hazing is not building a brotherhood. It's a crime for a reason. Um, if the national fraternities abolish it and the universities abolish it and they, and, and they put strict rules in place and they enforce them, we wouldn't be here. And that, I guess, is the point of this, right? They want to bring all these parents together to figure out how to make the change happen. Is that the plan? Yeah, that's their goal. So today was all about education, kind of learning about hazing across the country. Then tomorrow's all about legislation, what okay. they can do and leave with an action plan on how they can implement this and bring change across the country. Well, we will have the Hips family here to keep us up to date on what happens going forward. Nicole, thank you. It's been